the big three for working with sheet sets is working with eTransmit. Now eTransmit is actually a standard AutoCAD feature, so it's not a sheet set only feature, but it's so integrated into sheet sets that it really shows an advantage or the power of using sheet sets. So what I want to do is I'm going to go right to the very top here of my sheet set manager. I'm going to right click and notice the option for eTransmit. Now if I select a subset and I right click, notice the same eTransmit. So what's great about eTransmit is it will collect all the required information. So the drawings and the x refs and the images and even the fonts and put them together in a nice little package for you that you can send. So perhaps you have to send to another office, you have to send to a customer, to a vendor, wherever you need to send it, it will collect it and deal with that so you're not missing anything and you're not getting the constant you know, callback saying, hey, I'm missing this image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on architectural because really all I'm considering at this time is just collecting everything related to this subset. So all the sheets and all the base view drawings and everything related to that. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna pick eTransmit. Now from within eTransmit, it's telling me here that it has problems saving an open file. So let's just go and let's actually just save that file. And let's go and try eTransmitting that again. So we'll pick eTransmit. You can see that it's gathering the selected information and it's listing everything that it's found. So here's all the sheets that it's found. And you can be, you know, maybe I didn't want to include this particular sheet, so I can just deselect it. Now, if I look at the file tree, it's just listing all the drawings. So no longer is it listing it by sheet, but it's listing all the drawing it's gonna collect. Here's the related template file for my sheet sets collecting, and here's the actual sheet set data file. If I look at it from a file table, it's just simply a listing of all the files that it's going to collect and not categorizing them in any fashion. Also note the option to add a file. So you might have additional information that you want to include and it can be anything. Word document, it could be um, other AutoCAD drawings, it, it's really whatever you want to assign to it. Now to see what's going to happen here, notice that I've only got one transmittal setup. So I'm going to click transmittal setups and I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call it zipped. So this is my zipped one that's going to collect everything and, and compress it into a zip file. So I'll click continue. So what is it that I want to do? So obviously we want to collect everything into a zip file, but notice we can actually do a folder of data instead, and then you can deal with how you want to distribute it. I can actually save back to an older format. So you know perhaps the customer or vendor is not using the same format as I am. Notice that I can back save it. So we'll automatically do that conversion of those drawings. Where is it that we want to save the data? So let's just save this to the desktop so we can easily find it. And I'm gonna have it prompt me for the file name. Um, because obviously you can just say, you know, increment or overwrite, but in my case, what I want is I want it to prompt me. Now, what is it that you want to do with the data? And this is the same whether you're collecting to a folder or even a zip file, is you want to maintain the folder structure. So it's still going to copy all the data to a different location, but you want to maintain all the subfolders and, and how the data is, is placed. Would you like to place all the files and folder or all the files into one folder, which is what I'm going to do with this case because I'm intending to zip this and send it to somebody? Or do you want to keep the file and folders as is? So we'll actually we'll basically put it into the same location of where you are um, capturing it from. Now notice that I could have it spawn off an email. So I'll just take the default email application, and fire off an email. I can actually set the default plotter to none, which is a great little feature when you're sending it to somebody else because who doesn't have access to the same printer. So when they open your drawings, they don't get the prompt about, you know, hey, I can't find that printer. I can also bind external references. So the idea is that instead of maintaining a VexRef, so let's actually bind them into it. But I'm going to purge drawings and I'm also going to remove the design feed. So, you know, perhaps I don't want the customer or the vendor to see all the collaboration I've been having with others on the team. Perhaps we're going to include the fonts because I'm using some type of you know specialized non non typical font. Um, notice that we can include file from data links. So if you're linking to an Excel spreadsheet, you can capture that. We can include the photometric web files if I'm doing rendering. I can include textures from materials again with 3D modeling. I can even include unloaded file references. So if I got an XRef, but I had unloaded it, so it wasn't attached, but it was unloaded it. 
or I have unloaded it, then I can include that as well. And then I can give it a description. So zipped into single folder. So we'll click OK. Now that I've added that, I can click Close. We can see zipped. Here's my description. Here's the data it's going to do. And notice that it is now including the fonts because I did ask it to include the fonts. So any font that's used within those drawings, it went out and it, you know instantly found that information. If I want to, I can view the report. And this report will actually be generated by the eTransmit automatically. So it's kind of a, a summary of everything that's been included and some information about how to use that. So you know, when the person gets the fonts, how do I actually use those fonts? So I'm going to click OK. It's going to ask me for the location because remember that I had the option for prompt for file name. So we'll click Save. It's processing on the files. This is where it would do the, you know, the save to the older format. This would do the binding, stripping the printer. And what I'll see now, and it's just off the screen right now, but I'm just going to open the zip file. And here's all the data that it collected. So you can see the zip file, and again, let's just sort this by type. We can see all the plot styles. We can see the fonts, remember, because I included that. I can see the sheet set, um, DST file, all the drawings. And then if there was, oh, here's the only image that's currently included, and there's that summary. So again, eTransmit is a, a great tool for collecting information. It's not sheet set specific. Um, but it is tightly integrated within the Sheet Set Manager.